Welcome back. It's been like, what, one day, two days, something since we've done Shogi on Shogi Wars? Uh, last time we did 10 seconds, and that ended up being really fast. Perhaps today let's play some 10 minute games and hope to play more accurately and calm down a bit. Even though, you know, compared to other websites, compared to, say, like 81 Dojo, this website encourages you to try to win on time. I really don't like that. But people seem to like this website regardless, so let's just roll with it. Good luck. Okay, fourth thaw rook. I'm not going to mess this up again. This is the right move order. <laughs> Even if I'm playing third fall rook. Uh, they've spent some time castling, so I should spend some time castling. Uh, let's try to discourage them from building on Aguma. Okay. They're cool with this negotiation. That's cool with me. I'll duck the king out of the rook's line. And yeah, this is a position. Um, oh right, I should be moving this guy. Like, you normally move this general in this opening. Whoa, 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 whoa. I guess I'm nitpicking my opponent's move order, so maybe I've learned something since last time. Um... But yeah, this pawn over here is hanging. And I probably should have picked that up like 10 moves ago. But I see it now. I guess now is a not a bad time to see it. Um, yeah, that's awkward for them. So I've not built Mino. I've only built half Mino. I've not put my king in the corner yet. So this is a bit different than my usual business. But... Seems pretty decent. The trade-off is that, like, okay, yeah, I've done this a bit faster, but my bishop is loose and not going very far. So, yeah, I'm not sure what to do about that. Um, they do not have a pawn in hand. Wait, also they have no way to defend this pawn. Am I literally going pawn grabbing? Yes. Yes, we are going pawn grabbing. Because it's the way to activate our rook. Oh, they can defend it. I'm mistaken. Alright. Um. Interesting. <laughs> Yeah, a rook for bishop exchange would be horrifying here. So let's not open the diagonal, but if I don't open the diagonal, my rook has nowhere to go when they attack it. Hmm. That's a dilemma. Okay, we're going to do this ugly move. Okay, so they don't attack my rook. And maybe that's because I defend it this way. Um, but now I can pin the silver. As a general policy, try to activate your pieces. So I'm finally following my own advice. We can see that my bishop has a nice open line here. Checking my overlay. The overlay looks fine. Uh, that's an empty threat, right? Okay, I'll take your pawn. I guess silver takes is the... No, they can't do silver takes. That's why I call this an empty threat. Um, if they move the knight out, then my rook takes and I'm attacking a bishop. 
I guess they could move their bishop. I didn't think about that. But yeah, like I said, this website encourages players to play fast. And yeah, I'm taking that very much to heart, which is not a good thing. All right. I was so caught up in wanting to activate this rook that I forgot, you know, my king is right here. This is not good. All right, so if they do silver takes, I mean, I, no, I didn't need to move the rook, but no, I didn't see anything better either. Plus, activating the rook seemed like a reasonable thing to do. Um, hmm. Interesting. So... I think the one thing they haven't counted on here is that uh, this silver is pinned. Um, hmm. So regardless what happens with the rook exchange, uh, this tension is difficult to resolve. Again, my king is caught up right in the middle of this, and I'm being a little bit greedy. My old chess habit of trying to stay reasonably similar on the clock is catching up with me here. Um, yeah, no, I saw this, but I thought I could just drop the rook there. Worst case. Um, I think I'm right. So this does denature my castle slightly, but I think that's acceptable. Yeah, the silver is still pinned to this bishop, and nothing is supporting the bishop. I was a bit reluctant to move the gold in the first place, because when you move a gold forward, it's less effective. It gives up a lot of space, like here, but, um, you know, I thought that potentially there could be lines where I want to keep the, or there could be variations where I want to keep this diagonal open and have my bishop not hang in a combination. If somehow they somehow checked me with this silver moving out. And then I didn't want to lose the bishop. But, yeah, this is... I'm not sure what's going to happen next. Potentially they could be considering a future rook drop here to attack my gold, but then the rook has nowhere to go when I chase it. Uh, if my gold uh, moves up to hit the rook. Okay, so they sacrifice the rook. The bishop is also hanging. I should take the bishop, right? I don't know. If I take, and if we exchange bishops, then what's next? I've given up this square. I really like my rooks, but here a bishop seems to be the better piece by far. My king is not vulnerable to a rook drop, it's vulnerable to a bishop drop. Let's take a bishop. Alright, welcome. Aloha is our English word for hello and for goodbye. So, aloha. Hopefully you enjoy your stay. Oh, right. It makes sense for them to attack, doesn't it? Uh, I don't have any tricky tactic in response to that. 
So we'll be less than subtle here. Now I could drop a bishop to hit this silver and rook. I might have said the wrong piece name. I meant to I could drop a lance to do that. Um... Gofun. Okay, when I dropped the lance, I was reading this position, and I didn't see any way that I died right away here. Um, so I was willing to try this. Oh, in fact, I have enough pawns to, like, cover most rook invasions here. Well, given my material advantage, I might be interested in playing a really defensive kind of shogi here. Yeah, we're just going to plug things up. Say no to the rook, and just keep repeatedly saying no. Um, so if they move over, I could drop another pawn. This is too patient. A more fun move would be like a bishop drop out here, but I don't need anything so fun to win this. Because uh, I'm way, way ahead on material. Hmm... This looks fun, too. So they could drop the rook all the way back there, I guess. And I could promote my bishop. I mean, yeah, that's legal. Um, I thought they wouldn't go this way. This looks kind of interesting. Now again, I dropped this pawn earlier, mostly intending to keep the rook out, but this does keep other pieces out too. Um, of some concern is this rook moving over. Okay. Yep, I uh, probably should have seen that coming. Thankfully I seem to be okay. Um, if I move the knight, they can drop a silver, which actually right now doesn't do anything. In general, that's a very good knight for me to keep. Um, hmm. If I move the king, if they drop a silver and I try to ignore it, just how bad is this for me? Or if I take there, yeah, this kind of explodes. Um, Something. Oh, that's a false dichotomy. <sighs> if I move the knight, they're still going to drop here anyway. Oh, but then I can't ignore it. No, not really. This is my safest way to not die here. Or perhaps my only way. I don't know. Oh, that's not where I envisioned them dropping this. That's too peaceful, man. I 
No, I wanted the violent move where you drop in front of the pawn and then take here. Um, although maybe I have the same answer. Yeah, I guess I have the same answer there. All right. Um, I guess we'll withdraw the horse from the corner. Well, that's clever. Sure, okay, that's fine. This is not smart on my part. I could probably just go back there and not have to worry about things, but we're gonna take the rockier path here and perhaps be the better for it. Um... Let's plug the center, which is stupid, but we have a horse, they have a bishop. Um, hang on, why did I do that? Because I don't want to hang my pieces, that's why. I don't want to hang my gold, so we're going to do it this way. And now I have a rook, and they do not. I know I'm playing, like, way more patiently than normal, but it's fine. So I'm threatening to win a bishop. Continuing the threat to win a bishop. Since there are bishops on... oh, right. That's possible. Um... Interesting. Hmm, I've made this difficult somehow. I don't know how I made it so difficult. That's fine. We'll continue fighting back against a bishop. Also, I need to pick up the pace or lose on time, so let's pick up the pace. Hmm, wait, no, my gold is actually useful here. Surprisingly so. Fuck. That's too far back. That is one square too far back. Yep. Should have seen that coming. Okay, I just promise I'm going to use my rook soon. Um. Oops, didn't see that coming. All right. I have two rooks. On 81 Dojo, you would see two rooks on the peace stand. On Shogi Wars, you see how many pieces you have, if you very carefully look, or if you can remember. I have two rooks. Fuck it! Okay, this... Let's not drop a rook to a fork. Okay. So dumb.
Yeah. Let's not drop a rook to a fork today. Let's drop it some other way. What are they going to do with the rook anyway? I probably dropped all my generals in the wrong order there. Thanks for the game. Let's play another game. Maybe next time <laughs> I won't put my rooks in a fork. Who knows? Good luck. Wait a second, let's bring this out. Interesting. How does this go again? Oh, if I brought out the... no, never mind. I'm confusing myself. Let's not. Let's just play some reasonable moves here. So if they push this, the thing we keep learning over and over again... Oh, I'm sorry, if they have a pawn hanging here and a pawn hanging here... Then it's fine for me to put... Well, I don't even have my rook lined up for that this time. I don't know. How do I attack this thing? Yes, indeed. Alright, thanks, Malkor. I mean, yeah, my king is not in a perfect castle by any stretch. Usually an opponent would bring this pawn out, silver up, silver up, and bring their other silver here. This position's a bit odd in that regard. So we'll just patiently build our castle since... Um, yeah, what are they going to do? They really want to push the pawn behind their silver here to hit my bishop's head. So they'd have to exchange silvers to do that, and then suddenly I have a silver in hand and who knows what I could make happen. As long as I don't move my gold out and get my pieces forked. Um... Wait, where's my half Mino avatar? 
That's why we're here on Shogi Wars, is to collect the avatars, right? Or the animations. Or whatever you call it. Yep, yeah, so... I have a silver in hand. And no idea what to do. Uh, if I push this, I... Now my rook doesn't get trapped. Strange. I mean, this is not a thematic thing here. <sighs> Pushing this edge pawn generally makes sense, but that's an endgame kind of move here. Um... I think this is not terrible. Hmm. So now we have a silver and a pawn in hand. Okay, we'll deny this bishop a different exit. I'm so confused where my rook goes in this opening. I don't want to block the rook. Well, this is my plan. My plan probably should have originally been to put the rook out here. Um... I don't see any way to merge the two ideas together here. Nana. Okay, fine, we'll push this. Uh, Japanese players call it effects. Trading cards and trophies works too. Cool. Okay, um... Well, we found a weakness here. Something only the king can defend. Strange. Oh my! I guess we're going here. <laughs> um. Sure. Back into normal-ish waters. Hmm. I have two silvers and a pawn in hand. I have not a very great appreciation for how good or bad this is. It doesn't look good, because after we exchange, they have a rook fork. Um, I also have a rook fork. Oh, my rook fork's actually kind of dangerous, isn't it? Works for me. <laughs> I've never done this as a promotion there. Uh, that's kind of cool. That's a new experience. Yeah, okay, you get this with tempo, I'll give you that. Okay, that is kind of scary, actually. <laughs> they should have dropped the knight first, eh? Um... Hmm. 
Hmm. Hmm. Okay, this is fine. It's not where I want it to settle, but I don't have much of a choice. Pushing the pawn's not going to get me anywhere. Gofun. Um. Okay, so let's attack this bishop. And they can take our dragon. We'll just make another one. Although maybe I shouldn't be so obliging here. Okay. I mean... I guess I'm true to my word. Unless I have a mate. Maybe I... No, I don't have a mate. It'd be cool if I did. Um, yeah, well, this is bizarre. No, actually, this greatly accelerates my attack to do this, so let's do it. It also makes my king safer, because now I have somewhere to run to. Um... I was about to drop a gold here, and then realized what's so terribly wrong with that. Yeah, their bishop covers this, or their horse covers this square, so dropping a gold there would be most unwise. Um. Hmm. Interesting. You know, this is why you don't use a rook to start your attack. Um, just for you guys out there learning the game. You lead the attack with your lighter pieces. Uh, check from a distance, but don't walk into a fork. See, a silver is a lighter piece. See, I demonstrate bad moves while telling you that's what not to do. And hopefully we learn something from the experience. If they bring the horse back to 5-5, five five, we have bishop drop here, so it's fine. Oh, shit. Yeah, like I said. <sighs> saying one thing and doing another. That's Thumb me boom. here. Um... I'm going to try to not get checkmated on this diagonal, so we're going to put the bishop down. I know it's slow, but, like, what can I do? Plus, are they really going to put another piece down to stop my defense? Um, that's tricky. Wait, we have a pawn. A pawn is worth a thousand golds. That pawn is perhaps worth like two golds. So, oh, check this out. Let's sack our dragon. Yeah. Who needs a dragon? When you've got, like, ten pieces around the opponent's king.
Thanks for the game. Yeah. I'm playing cautiously. Uh, there, I might have had a better attack. Uh, but boy, that worked out. That wasn't terrible. It was okay. Good luck. Hmm. Right, so this is gradually settling in my mind. Wait, so the tactic here... Yeah, it's still there. Never played it this way. Okay. So now this opens, so now we can close this diagonal there. Oh! Interesting move order. Do I push this? They push that now? That's fine. Yeah. Oh, I see. That makes sense. I push, they take, I drop. I've broken open this file. Um... I don't want to spend a turn moving my rook, if I don't have to. Um. Okay, I don't understand why the thing that normally happens didn't happen there. Uh, it's perhaps my fault. So I've lost a move with my rook there. I don't know why. Normally they exchange and my rook is able to advance and then drop back. Here I had to explicitly move the rook to like... Oh, I didn't have to move it though. Oops! Uh, that's not good. That's scary. Well, I mean, it's fine, actually. We've got another pawn. This is fine. He says, with everything on fire. Um, sure, we'll take this. Protect against the Rook promotion. That's fine. What's not fine? <laughs> My bishop is still encased. That's not fine. But, um, I've not blundered the game just yet. Give me time. We'll get there. I'm playing not this is super not Joseki on my part um my pieces should be on very different squares than where they're at But they have only one pawn, and we have three pawns. So, assuming I can use my pawns effectively, maybe that's a good thing. Oh, they can take here. They have not done it, but they can take there. Instead, they play this defensive pawn drop, which seems like a wasted move. Um... Don't drop the rook, don't drop the rook. We're gonna drop the rook somehow. Oh well. 
Yeah, if they bring the knight out, then their bishop is blocked. So probably they'll well if they exchange bishops, this position's even crazier for them than it already is. See if they take my pawn and exchange bishops, I can start dropping some pawns out here and invade somehow if I ever get a piece. Really, I'd want their rook to move off this file so I could just. Well, no, if they have a pawn, then I don't get the file. That's the real value of a pawn in this position is that. They need something to obstruct this file. I keep imagining that like my rook is just going to swing back here with gain of tempo. Um, that might not be so easy. Okay. This is such a cowardly move on my part, but we're doing it. Nana <laughs> fun. There we go. Our king has a shelter. Our rook, not so much. Um, interesting. No, moving the rook around doesn't help me any. Well... Screw it. Let's do this. Here we go. <laughs> Are we ready for this? Not really. But uh, we have to try it. Um, interesting. Not the move I expected. Uh, but yeah, that's actually maybe a good move. Maybe. Um, I guess I'm breaking up my shape here, which is what they've been waiting for this entire time. So they get one tempo as a result of me breaking this up. Maybe two. I don't know. But their horse cannot move backward. This ain't chess. So... This is why I had to ask, am I ready for this? Oh, they can drop a bishop here. And then, yeah, they gain multiple tempos here. If they drop the bishop there. Um... Mm, I guess I could exchange my rook for a bishop. Unless I see something better. No, we're going to do this exchange. It's going to suck. But it'll be fine. Actually, we get two pieces, don't we? Um... Yeah, it's fine. Uh, 
think I think more important for them was developing an attack, like reactivating this rook somehow. Um, the rook is still floating. If they don't take my rook, I can just move it now. Although, it doesn't have anywhere to go. Man, the brilliant thing would have been just, like, activate the rook, but this activates their rook, too. Alright, so... Go home. Interesting. I mean, this looks like a good place for a bishop, right? Oh yeah, the knight sack first. Yeah, absolutely. I was looking for something, because, like, even though the way they played this was wrong, like, I was still looking, This there must have been a right way for them to play it. Yeah, the knight sack into this bishop fork, attacking two loose pieces, definitely continues to gain tempo after tempo after tempo there. So, that would have been the right way to go. Um... Hmm. If I chase the rook up the board, I'm in trouble. This is not a bishop. I shouldn't do rook take silver like I was just considering. Oh my. Yeah. Let's, let's try to play some good moves here. Not hang everything. Um... Well, what's my risk tolerance here? Um, I don't have a mate. Not, not close at all. Because if I drop a lance here, they bring this silver up and I don't have a mate. Oh, the weakness of the castle's right there. I could hit it. Um... Doesn't do him any good right now. Right now we're going to oppose this rook. So I'm chasing a piece that's not the king. The understanding that I'm going to collect it. Yeah, because right now a rook is the most dangerous piece against... Well, okay, I'm offering up this rook, though. <laughs> um, what am I trying to say? My rook here has no not much of a future, and I don't feel like exchanging it for a silver. So, that's why I settled on this. Um... Opponent abandons their rook. Oh, right, this tactic still exists. Nicely spotted, sir. Um, fine. My situation's not improving there. Something. Um, I really don't want to abandon a gold, but what can I do? Oh, I can attack. There we go. 
We're hitting this corner and this corner. So they're not taking our gold. And we just have to hit this direction again. Somehow. Without having the right pieces to do that. Um... Did I say we don't have the right pieces? Am I making that up? I seem to be making that up. They're threatening this sack. No, they're not. Alright, this looks kind of interesting. I maybe should have sacked here immediately. I was trying to figure that out. But I think they survived that. Um, maybe it would have been lighter to bring this back to defend. Yeah, I'm confused. Okay, we're gonna sack this just so I don't die. And now we're gonna be greedy. It's gonna pay off. Ipun. For the game. Yeah, you cannot defend indefinitely. Uh, it took me a second there at the end game to recognize that I just can't defend that indefinitely. I have to attack. And yeah, attacking seemed to be the right motivation. I'm not sure if I played that attack perfectly, but um, yeah, we seemed to do well today. Hope we all enjoyed this. It was a fun session.